So this is to show you a strange version of the Benjangopadi, the five-pointed prostration to the Lord Buddha, which you probably won't see. And in some temples, if you do it, uh, it's not the common way to do it. And so you might even receive remarks, what are you doing? But actually, I was taught this by Meku Bajan, who liked to do things in a very proper fashion. And so, I wanted to show it to you. Hmm? It goes like this. Uh, I'll show it to you. Do it three times first, and then we will analyze it, and I'll show you each stage of how to do it. So. So, basically there are a couple more steps. Most people will just do it very simply, like this, to their heads, to the floor, back to their heads, to the floor, back to their heads, and to the floor, and then with one final farewell, one more time at the end. But this version, <coughs> it starts at the heart the first time. And the hands should be clasped, slightly curved, like a lotus. And like this, actually like this, and then curve them. And as you move up, you place the thumbs together, and the tips of the thumbs you place between your eyebrows, with the hands clasped no longer like this, but like this. So you move from this position, up to this position hmm? after which you then for practice you can put your hands like this when you leave here and go to bend down you can put your hands like this as you are going down and when they reach the floor if you follow them down with your head as they reach the floor you can if you place your elbows at the sides of your knees you have to find your own position here because everyone has different length arms and legs. You put like this, go down. When you touch the floor, then you can place your forehead between the two thumbs, the two palms. And that helps you to position yourself correctly. So when you go down, you use this, like this, and place your hand. So this was too long, I would go shorter, like this. Mm -hmm. So, from here to here, then train yourself with your elbows and your thumbs to get your arms positioned properly so you can just place your forehead between the two thumbs, like this. Keep your bottom as close to your heels as you can, don't raise it up. Keep it close down here, and then when you come up, when you come up again, your hands go to here to touch your lap. Then they come over your solar plexus, begin to clasp. Then they go into the lotus shape at your heart. Then they close together and raise up to the forehead. And then you go down again. And then you come up again, like this. I'm going to take this off so I can do it properly for you. You come up again, one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, four, and back down again. One, two, three, four, back down again. One, two, three, four, and back down again. And then one more time for farewell. And that's a, a more complex way, which I was shown by Meku Bajan, of how to perform the Benjang Opadi. Next time I'm going to show a, a longer version of the uh, 
refuge in the Triple Gem, which most people know as Putang Saranang Kajami, Tamang Saranang Kajami, Sankang Saranang Kajami. Uh, I'm going to show a different version of that and explain a little bit about it, which is how I prefer to do it. But this time was Benjang Opadi. So, farewell to you all. I hope maybe I can have demonstrated something in this.